Okay, so here we are with the XO 1.5 alpha test board in Taipei. Um, and I'm going to give a quick demo. Uh, my name is Chris Wall, I work on software. And so uh, while Mitch and Richard and John have been talking about bringing up the hardware, um, I've been working on the software, starting with Linux, the kernel, and moving up through Fedora and Sugar, which is the XO user interface that you see right here, and GNOME. Um, we're doing something a little bit different for the XO 1.5 because we have so much more memory and so much more disk space, we can afford to put on a lot more software. And uh, what we've decided to do is to use uh, the Fedora Linux distribution, Fedora 11, and to include both Sugar, the desktop, and GNOME, which is a standard sort of uh, normal desktop software. And that'll let uh, much older kids um, use the same kind of desktop we do. So here's Sugar running on the board. Um, we can see if I start the chat activity, here we go, it's coming up pretty quickly. Is it faster than the X01? Or? It is so much faster than the X01, you wouldn't believe. Uh, I really? feel like I'm using my own laptop with this thing. Um, How come it's so much faster? What, what, what is the thing that made it faster? The, just the processor? or The extra RAM helps an awful lot. Yeah? Yeah. And the processor itself too. More you might have RAM. noticed, looking at the, the chips, that the... Uh, how much smaller <laughs> the CPU and yeah. if we uh, if we grab the old board, how much smaller the CPU and the RAM chips are compared to the last one, and that represents you know an increase in, in speed and an increase in. So just to compare so the RAMs with where they were. Right. So these are the RAM chips. So those are the old ones, and yep. those are the new small optimized ones. That's right. And these are the CPU and the South Bridge. And so this is not going to be more expensive. No. That's the um, plan, right? No, it's it's taking advantage of where the industry is going. XO 1.5 is perhaps even going to be cheaper, or I, I suddenly hope so. Yeah. Um, you you tend to move smaller as as manufacturing scale gets better, and it it doesn't result in a price increase, not at all. Okay. So I've been showing Sugar. Can you show one of some of that apps? How fast they open? Sure. So this is Turtle Art, which is a logo drawing program. Which used and to be very slow to open, right? Yes. <laughs> so what is this? Like two seconds and a half. Something like that. Uh, it's suddenly great. We're really looking forward to it and, and getting it out there. I can also, if you don't mind uh, seeing a, a scrambled screen for a moment, I can drop us into uh, GNOME, the standard desktop on Which Fedora 11. All the XO 1.5 will all come pre built with a full like a desktop experience like we are used to. That's exactly right. Yeah? We're going to boot into Sugar by default because we think Sugar is the right thing for, the, for kids, especially younger kids. But there's going to be an option. So you boot it into Sugar, and if you want to, you can slide on into GNOME. You can you know, load up, uh, do all the standard things we do, um, web browsing and, and so is reading it like a multi boot? So yeah, it, it boots into one and it gives you the option. You go into the, the control panel and you say, actually, I want to be running uh, yeah. GNOME now, and then you can switch back to Sugar again. It, it's all, it's just there. So we'll be able to load applications like OpenOffice that we didn't have before um, because they use too much memory and too much disk for the X01. So, uh, so that's it, and uh, we're pretty excited about it. How much is GNOME going to take in memory? Is, did you like remake it somehow? Did you optimize it, or is Sorry. it just like one of the available ones? It's actually the Fedora community that did all the great work. So they got Sugar as part of Fedora. If you get Fedora 11 now, you've got Sugar with it, and uh, and they worked on making a single image, which is what we're booting here, that contains both Sugar and GNOME. And in fact, Sugar and GNOME use a lot of the same libraries, so the disk space isn't so much more to add GNOME. But moving from one gig of flash to four gig of flash leaves us a lot of room to, uh, to use more disk, uh, so... So you don't need to reboot to pass from one to the other? No, just no. swap straight away, just as we did right here. This is uh, the beginning of, of the exact image we hope to use uh, mm. on the 1.5 machine. Uh, what kind of other cool things are, are going to be faster now? Like, basically everything? Or? Graphics is, is one of the things we're excited about. The geode, it has a very slow graphics chip, and that meant that there are a lot of effects we, we just couldn't go with. Things like alpha blending and transparency, that we kind of had to just discard from the sugar interface altogether because they were never going to be fast enough to be really seamless. Uh, with this new chip, we've got a lot more accelerated op operations to take advantage of. Cool. All right, so when is the uh, software finished and ready and shipping? Uh, and what is that? So before the hardware is ready. <laughs> before <laughs> that, the hardware is ready. That's the rule, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. And uh, the, the sugar labs, right? Yes. And the, how's it going over there? It's going great. I'm actually on, I work for LBC, but I'm actually on the, the oversight board for sugar labs as well. So I have a, a sort of a foot in both worlds. And uh, sugar's going on strong. It's, it's benefiting, um, for example, the work they did to get 
sugar in part of Fedora and running on other machines has directly helped us here because now we've got Fedora with sugar in GNOME and everything's uh, fitting together nicely. And lots of apps are being made? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah? Lots of updates with the existing apps and... Yeah, and again, yeah. Uh, sugar's been w reaching out with the distribution communities, so Fedora guys have been um, packaging sugar for Fedora and packaging all the apps. It, it's working out great. Cool. Okay. Uh, thanks a lot. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. And good, uh, good work. Um, okay.